Our biggest problem with the NES Classic is that the little box only had 30 games in it. That's changed. Hackers, hackers, hackers have found their way inside of it and you can now add your legally backed up NES ROMs. Here's how to do it. So this is the part where I have to tell you that if you're not comfortable hacking around with the firmware and bootloaders and ROMs and all that stuff, it's okay, I don't blame you. It is possible that things could go very wrong. They didn't for me, worked just fine, but anything can happen, so you're doing this at your own risk. So a couple things you're gonna need here. You're gonna need your NES Classic, and you're gonna need a Windows PC running at least Windows 7. Next, you're gonna need to download the HackG2 program. Uh, we'll have a handy link down in the description for that. You don't actually need to install it or anything, just unzip it and you'll run it in place. Now, with everything you're downloading, applications and files and stuff, do so at your own risk. Be a little smart about it, please, please. You're also gonna need some game files. Now again, these are NES ROMs that you have legally backed up from your own private stash from 1989, right? Right. So here's the gist. HackG2 is going to allow you to load up the games and install them onto the NES Classic. So you're gonna to wanna to select the ones that you wanna keep on the left, and then we'll install them on the right, super simple. Browse to wherever you've saved your legally backed up games and choose the ones that you want to install here. If you have old box art saved, you can use that, or just hit the little Google button and it will automatically search Google for new box art, which is super awesome. Once you do all that, it's actually time to sync the games. So you're gonna to wanna to plug your NES Classic into your PC, which is easy since it's connected by micro USB for power anyway. And now you need to put it into what's called FEL mode, F-E-L. To do that, hold down the reset button, then press the power button. After a couple seconds, let go of the reset button and Nothing's gonna happen. You're not gonna see any lights flash or anything. But you'll know everything worked back in the Hack G2 program when you go to sync and it actually works. It'll tell you if it's done it right or not. It'll then tell you to reboot once everything's synced up and working the way it should be, and then you're good to go. Then you can play all your new games, legally backed up new games. My wireless controller is working just fine as well, by the way. And that's it. Great job by Cluster M for the GUI and the entire NES hacking community for putting all this together. Let's go have some fun. It's a lot.